Alex, uh, Morphosis Architects. He's got a, a Laguna Smart Shop, ATC. Works great. Uh, doing a lot of prototyping, kind of uh, improving our shop a lot with that, kind of learning the system. And uh, we hope to do a lot of uh, new uh, prototypes and um, parts that will translate into something much bigger for our firm. I went to school at Georgia Tech uh, for undergrad and, and uh, got my master's there as well. Um, I spent a lot of time in the, in the shop there doing a lot of uh, woodworking, metalworking, um, some welding, things like that. Um, and we also, uh, our studios are kind of based on prototyping. Uh, so we did a lot of material research, a lot of um, kind of uh, construction research. Um, so kind of by the time I was out of school, I was already kind of primed for this job, really. Uh, my portfolio was just all models. Um, and then when I came here, the learning curve kind of started over based on the ma machines that we have, kind of the finish quality that we're, uh, the firm looks for, and also the, the scheduling. Uh, it's, it's very academic around here. The, the time constraints are always kind of an issue. Um, so we've got to make these machines kind of perform at their maximum potential all the time. So there's really no margin of error. Uh, and that's one really important aspect of our job is to make sure that that uh, you know, isn't a factor anytime. Um, so we're good repairmen as well. Uh, we've got to know these machines more than just uh, how they cut things. We've got to know how to fix them. We've got to know how to uh, prevent them from breaking. So. Uh, this is one of the parts we have, uh, just to kind of test the material and um, some of the capabilities of the machine. Um, I did this to kind of get an idea of uh, the, uh, the capability of the bits. Um, the uh, z-axis depth and also to kind of see what kind of uh, finish quality we can get out of this particular material. So one of the most challenging uh, aspects of our job is to uh, basically figure out how to implement these uh, kind of crazy digital models. Um, a lot of times they'll, they'll um, design something on the computer that can be um, you know, easily kind of understandable within the digital realm, but once you kind of take it out of that context and put it into uh, actually being physically built, um, we've got to figure out basically based on the parameters of the machine, the capability of the machine, um, how to make it work, how to build it. Okay, so th this is uh, an example of um, a part that we're kind of uh, getting used to the machine with. Um, it represents the, the maximum Z depth that we can kind of generate with the machine, the, the tool pass. Obviously, um, we've learned a couple things here, breaking through the material. Uh, so it also kind of gets us used to the, the particular material that we're using. We apply this real smooth finish to every, every piece we do in here so that it's uh, kind of a, a finished quality. You know, basically, we use, we're using the machine, the CNC machine, to get uh, kind of attain larger scale pieces. Um, this particular piece will be kind of a, a composite um, with several other ones, get a much larger one. Um, but it, it really kind of expands our, our capabilities uh, in terms of size. And we've, we've just now kind of gotten into uh, realizing the type of bits uh, because it makes all the difference in the world. Um, Especially with acrylic, and you know, when you change the material, uh, you can't use the same bit because um, you know, break a bit or, or damage the material. You know, you, you think that you you control the machines, but they really control you. They make you they make you work. They make you learn. Um, I can't tell you how much time we spent just kind of researching the the machines, making sure that it's the right one for us. Um, figuring out how they work, um, finding the right bits, things like that, because all of it is based on time. If we don't have the, the product out at the right amount of time for the, the clients or the designers, then we might as well not do it at all. This is probably the most simple part we'll do, um, and it all kind of goes up from there. So. We had a couple recommendations um, from some friends. Uh, we looked online, we did a lot of research. We actually had a couple uh, visits from other manufacturers in our shop and um, really once we went down and, and, and did a, a, a shop visit with Steve uh, at Laguna, we um, that was it for us, that sold us. He showed us the machine. Uh, we met Bob, talked about the prototyping, the software, 
um, and it was it was just at our level. Um, the price point was was there, um, the uh, the learning curve was there, and obviously the machine itself um, was it was more than enough. Uh, so. Uh, we're really happy with our choice. Um, we, we, we did look at a lot. We looked at Thermwood. We looked at um, a couple of the other main, uh, main manufacturers. And, and uh, this is right where we needed to be.